So you've heard lots and lots of buzz about chat GPT and how it can help you in your job, in your career, in your job search, but you don't know how to get to it. Believe it or not, there's lots of people who just don't know how to access chat GPT. And there are lots of scammers out there trying to take advantage of you and giving you links saying you can access it by going to this link here or that link here. And they're taking you through their own service or their own system first, capturing data from you, all kinds of stuff before you actually get to chat GPT. What we're going to do today is I'm going to show you actually how to get to it, how to go in, and then I'm going to show you just some really basic, basic uses for it. I promise you, this is not as overwhelming as you may think. And once you get in and you start using it, just entering things off the top of your head is going to help you learn to use it. Okay, let me go ahead and share my screen. Now, you know I do a lot with job seekers, and I do think that ChatGPT is a hugely brilliant way for job seekers to help their job search. But I want to show you just in general how to get there and how to use it. If you are just on Google and you type in chat GPT, it's going to bring you up to open AI. As soon as you see open AI to introducing chat GPT, go ahead and click on that. Now, once you get to this main screen, you're going to see a section over here on the right where if you've already been in it, you can log in. But for the first time, you're going to have to sign up. Now, when you do click the sign up button, it is going to capture certain data from you. It's going to want an email address, right? Because that's what's going to use as your unique identifier. You're going to put in the email address. If you don't feel comfortable putting in your regular one, Gmail accounts are free. Go create a Gmail account just for that. But you can use just your regular one. And then you can choose to either go through the process and create a password and everything. Or if you already have a Google account, you can actually do it with Google, with a Microsoft account, or even continue with your Apple account if you're uh, using Apple. Once you get in to chat GPT, it's then going to look like this. Whoops, and it's not showing you my screen. Give me one second and let me reshare this with you so you can see what this is gonna look like. Because I do wanna get a chance to actually show you the entire thing of ChatGPT, and there we are. <laughs> Let me make that a little bigger for you. Okay, once you are in this main chat GPT window, you can either go up here to new chat, you can go down here to send a mass message. I go up here to new chat just because that's where I feel more comfortable. So when you're up and in here, all you have to do is ask it something. Um, I can say like create, a resume for a HR manager. Do you see how it came in? Now I'm going to go ahead and hit this green thing and chat GPT is going to do just that. It may take it a minute as it thinks about it, but it's going to go ahead and put it in a format that you can easily see and it's going to keep going. Now, if it's going too long on something, you can stop it from generating. I usually don't use that feature unless I've done something wrong. Like I've asked a question, it goes down one path and I want it to go down a different path. But it's going to go through and try to create what you've asked it to create. Now, we do have a video coming out on the pros and cons of using ChatGPT for a resume, and there are some cons. We also have a video coming out telling you how I can tell if your resume came from ChatGPT. Um, don't feel like you have to start from scratch and create a brand new resume, but I am going to show you on some of our other videos how you can use this to make your current resume even better. Now, once you have all of the information out here that chat GPT has given you, you're going to see right up here, this little clipboard. It's just like in all the other Microsoft applications. You click it and it's now saved it to your clipboard and you can paste it into a Word document if you want or wherever else. Now, once you have an initial document, you can keep asking it to refine that document down. You can say, um, all right, next I want to, can you can you change the format? Whoops. Can you change the format of this resume? And it will go through and it will do it again, changing the format. And it will put it in another way. Now, I don't want you to think you can only use chat GPT for resumes. Of course, 
course, you can use it for all kinds of things. Um, you can use it, of course, to write a post on something. You can use it to come up with a thank you letter if you have. Now, the more you start entering things in and the more working with it, the more you're going to see just how powerful it is. But for this video here today, I just want to do a really short, for those of you that didn't know how to access ChatGPT, this is how you can go in and actually get started. Now, we're going to have a whole set of videos, like I said, creating a resume, how to take your resume that you already have and make it better, how I can tell as a recruiter when you have created a chat GPT resume, and some other pros and cons of using the system. If you have any questions at any point in time, feel free to put a comment down below. As always, we try to read each and every one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.